Hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to Six Ashes Farm. Here we are for day number six. I think we're up to day six. Uh, seems like I've been here forever. Um, so, I didn't do anything yesterday afternoon. I just went in and did some processing in our cheese. And our cheese is all good to go. Good to sell. So, we've got, um, what's that? Nine, eleven. Eleven tubs of cheese, or eleven big blocks of cheese ready to go, to go and sell. So, um... Let's head off and make the sale, I suppose, and um, see how much money we make. Hopefully, uh, we can make a decent amount. Might have to go back down and buy some more, buy some more milk if we need to. Um, one thing is going to be a bit of an issue, though, is we, we're going to have to buy a trailer, I think. Buy a trailer so we can load up more than one bit of milk each time we go down there. And I'm hoping if we can um, talk to CJ as well. Oops, sorry. Um, if we should talk to CJ as well, maybe I could organise to meet him down at a certain time, and he can actually load the milk on for us. Um, I know he's got you know tractors and front loaders, and I think he's even got like a wheel loader and a little bobcat and telly handler and stuff down there, obviously to do the work with his cows. So hopefully he can load it up for us, and we can bring it back. I think that's um, that'll be better for us than having to drive out a tractor down there the whole way. Right, so we'll head past the shop here, but I'm pretty sure the farm, or the farm supply shop or something is up here where we're going to sell it. I can't remember what it's actually called now. Ah, let's bring it up. What's it called? I still can't read it from there. Sprouts something. I think it's like the Sprouts Markets up through here. So we've got um, the petrol station, and then out the back we've got like a little seed shop, place that we can buy seeds and greenhouses and stuff like that. I think a little further down, potentially where we need to go. It's like a little market, Sprouts Market, I think it's called. Um, is this it in here? Not yet, it looks like a bit of a dairy facility in there as well, actually. Uh, I think we actually went past it. Right, let's um, pull over here, and um, there was a car behind us, we're going to have to do a U-turn. Sorry mate, three point turn, oh no, oh no, sorry, sorry, calm down. It's up here to the left somewhere, is it in through here? This might actually be it through here, I actually did miss it, the entrance. Looks like a bit of a dairy facility there, and he said there's like a little market. Ah, there it is. So maybe it is part of where the petrol station actually is. Not quite sure. We'll have to go out that way and see what we can find. Alright, so here's our little cell point just off to the side here, so we're just going to have to back it into here. To try not to run into anything. There we go, I think we've nearly sold it all. Right, um, we'll jump on out. Oh, there we go, sold it all. So what did we make? Nearly $6,000 out of that, so that's actually pretty good. Now I don't know exactly where we need to go to get back down to shop this way so I want to see if I can buy an old trailer or something I don't know if I have anything available um, so what's in here oh, just a couple of houses okay so the market just is in behind a couple of houses which isn't too bad so after the petrol station so, yeah, so we've got the fuel station here and we've got like a place up here where they, they buy our eggs and greenhouses and stuff all up there so a potential sale point for later on Pretty sure they do buy grains and that up there as well, so. Alright, we'll head down here and we'll actually, um. I'll head on into the shop and see what I can actually buy. Whether it's going to be anything. Uh, worthwhile in here. From the shop, as far as a trailer goes. Don't know if we're going to have enough money to buy a decent trailer, so. Just have to wait and see. 
Alright, so I'll have a chat with these guys and I'll bring you guys back once we've either purchased something or we've headed back down to the farm empty handed. Alright, guys, we're uh, leaving the shop, left empty handed, nothing we could afford that was any good. Um, I have to put an ear out down at the uh, the local pub and um, see what we can find down there, but I just rang CJ. Um, and I said, I still, I need some more milk, we've gone through that already, and he's like, really? I'm like, yeah, yeah, went, went through it pretty quick, making that cheese is, um, going to be a good earner for us, hopefully. Um, but I told him, unfortunately, I don't have a way of being able to come down and pick up stuff in bulk. Um, he pretty much just said, why don't you just head down and bring the mobile cheese factory with you, we can fill it up with what we've got down here, and then... We'll see what else we can take back. Might be able to chuck some on the back of the pickup or something along those lines. So I've um, told him I want another five. We're we going to call them five pallets or five tanks worth. So that's going to be like eleven thousand liters of milk is what we've just purchased. So I've sent him through the cash already. Um, we'll just head down and pick it up. We may need to bring the tractor down and grab a pallet or two I think because we're not going to be able to bring it all back in the trailer nor are we going to be able to bring it all back in the back of the truck I don't think without a sort of you know rolling the thing which is not a good idea so um what I'll do guys is I'll head down here we'll load up as much as we can in our mobile cheese factory I'll see what we can get loaded onto the truck and I'll bring you guys back when we're back home at the farm again and hopefully we can make some more money for some from some uh, cheese right here guys we're just about back home now so I've got two pallets on the back of the truck I've managed to load two and a half pallets in the uh, mobile milk mobile cheese factory I should say and we've also managed to process enough while we're down there to actually get it so that we um, we could bring everything back. So we've already got like a full pallet process, pretty much, and um, two pallets still in there. So it's still going to continue to process um, while we're you know driving, and it's going to continue to process while we unload our pickup as well. So that's an added bonus. So let's um. Detach from our mobile cheese factory and let's um back this back to here. Gonna have to take the straps off. Drop the back tailgate down. There we go, we've got two still on here, which was quite a load for our truck. If we come over here, we are Yeah, pretty much full up on cheese, so we need to need to get the cheese out which just comes out like this and I don't think I can add any more until I've picked that up so we're gonna have to get in our tractor and get these guys off right, this is gonna be uh, quite entertaining trying to get these off without damaging anything I'm not gonna do it first person I'd like to try and do it first person but Knowing my luck, I'm going to end up looking like a fool. So we'll just unload one at a time. Pretty much just bring them over and stack them behind it. Right, there we go. Just dump. Whoop. Dump one off there, and then we can pick the other one up and stick that one on top. And then we're going to need to grab our cheese and start loading that up as well. We we'll probably need a um, another enclosed trailer for the cheese, I think. This is going to be quite quite tough, I think, to get this pallet out of here. I think we might actually need to just try and pull it back a little bit. Alright, get it pulled to the back. It's just because it's sitting on the um, 
the wheel arches and stuff like that. There we go, that should be much, much better. You can see the amount of weight in it. They are quite heavy. Alright, there we go. Pick that one off. Uh, I don't want to dump it on top of the other one. Because it's not going to be strong enough to have, have them stacked on top of each other, I don't think. But we can probably just stack them side by side here. Oop, if I can leave the pallet behind. There we go. This is something that's going to keep us in business, I guess. We'll wait for our, our fields to be done. And our fields to grow and stuff, so... I think it's a good idea. I'm not sure how long we're going to continue to produce the cheese for, because it's sort of just a, a starting out business. And um, eventually we may end up not having enough time to continue to do this, you know, day in, day out, day out. So we'll, um, we'll just do what we can for now, I guess. So we'll stack them like that. Then I don't know if we're going to get another row. Yeah, we should be able to get another row behind, actually. Depending on that wheel arch. Which is going to be... Yeah, a bit of a pain, in it? Yeah, it's going to be a pain. Guess that's why I was trying to stack it like this before. But I don't think we're going to get too wide in there. Probably just going to have to do three and then like the two and the one, and then maybe two again. Not 100% sure on how we're going to be able to stack all this in neatly. It'd be better if we could throw it all on a pallet and um, take it up on a pallet by itself, but at the moment, uh, we don't have that luxury yet. We need to maybe go and buy some pallets and see what happens. So let's get some more out of there. It doesn't take too long for it to produce the cheese, as you can see. Alright, luckily these guys aren't overly heavy. You could probably stack it more than just the three high, but for now I think if we go maybe four high, I think we should be okay. Definitely going to Make some good money out of this. I think we spent all of that money just about. Um, we brought five, so I think it's about fifty-five hundred bucks we spent on the milk. And out of this, we're going to make way more than that back. And we should be making probably a good old twenty thousand or something, which would be great. See, I think any more than that would be just too high. Definitely too high. Alright, so what I'll do guys is I'll, um, I might go and start cutting all this grass and give this time to produce some more cheese and I might bring you guys back when we're going to head back off and make another sale, I suppose. And um, we'll go from there. So I'll bring you guys back very, very soon. Right here guys, well, uh, produced a little bit of cheese today. We've still got um, a little bit of milk to go, more cheese to produce, but I think that's going to be it for... Uh, today it's getting quite late. It's just turned eight o'clock. I've got all of this mode and wind road ready to turn into some grass bales. So that's something I've been doing while our cheese has been producing, and we've got our truck loaded as much as we can. It's quite heavy this thing. So um, let's head off to the farmers markets, the sprout market, I think it's called. Let's. Shut the doors on that, just because we don't want any bugs and stuff getting in there, I guess, while we're not home. Uh, let's put our lights on. I know it's 8 o'clock, it's summertime, so still plenty of uh, light out and about. I'm hoping our field is not too far off being ready to go. I think it looks like it's just about ready. It's final stage of growth, I think. I can just sort of see through the bushes a little bit. And that's someone else's field there, I think. Oh, that's our field too. Yeah, it's definitely ready to be harvested tomorrow, I think. If we're lucky enough. Alright, so we'll head up to the markets, as I said. Just after the petrol station. Remember, we've got to turn right into there and head up to the sprout markets. And um, sell our cheese. 
going to make plenty of cash off our cheese today, which means we're going to be able to pay our mum back. Which is a bonus. These guys are flying through here. They really need to slow down a little bit, I think. Especially when we can't quite see. I wonder, are they doing 50 or 60 Ks? I think, to me, 50 seems a bit much. Uh, 60, I mean, seems a bit much, so... Yeah, I don't know. Alright, so we're coming up on the petrol station just here. Definitely need to get this car washed. It is filthy. So that's him there. Then I think if we turn right... Just into... No, not into there. Uh, into the one after. There we go. We can quickly duck across the traffic here. And head in towards the farmer's market. Alright, there we go. Swing into our cell point as well. Alright, let's back it back into the cell point. Alright, I think that's pretty good. Let's um, unstrap all these guys now. These guys can all hopefully get sold. The cell point's obviously quite interesting. May need to start to unload some of these guys, I think. Yeah, there we go. Sort of just put them off to the back. They'll, they'll sell a bit better. How much have we got? We got 22,379. So we did make quite a bit out of that. I suspected about 20,000 or so. Alright, well let's head back to the farm. We'll quickly check on our field when we get back. And um, I think we'll call it another day. Um, it's day 6 coming to an end. So we've... You know, got some business opportunities up and running already since we've moved to Six Ashes. Some cheese being produced and sold, making some money that way. Got a decent relationship with CJ and, and Mark as well, so a couple of guys that hopefully, if we ever need anything, we can ask them for a bit of help. And same with them, if they need anything, they can ask us. They should know that already, but I'll have to make sure. But yeah, 22,000. I think we'll try and keep that in the bank for now. I might even, uh, when we finish up tonight and I head inside and, and jump on the computer, I might even send um, send the $5,000 back down to mum and um, get that debt paid. I know she's not worrying about it just yet, but I'd rather get it paid as soon as we can. We have spent quite a bit of money the last couple of days getting this mobile cheese factory up and running and that sort of stuff, so... Definitely think um, paying her back is going to be a bit of a priority at the moment. A field, yeah, a field's just there. It definitely looks like it's just about ready to go. Hoping for tomorrow. That could be our, our job for tomorrow to get that harvested. It's going to take quite some time, I think, with our little harvester, but hopefully it's going to bring in some good money and we can actually make some straw bales as well um, for our our cows and that for later on so all right well um uh, I, I might might park this just next to the house here because I may even come out later tonight and do a bit of um do a bit of bailing get all this bailed up but maybe and it's quite late I'm quite hungry and I really couldn't be bothered doing it tonight but it's got to be done there's plenty of glass grass laying around so Still happy with this area. Now it's all cleaned out. Looks a lot better than it did before. Let's have a look at how our oats are going. So they're still growing. Um, the pH is bad and the nitrogen's bad as well. So I know the nitrogen's good in some spots and bad in others. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. We might have to do it um, do our fertilizer spreading or spraying after we've planted. See, some's okay, some's good, some's bad, some's perfect. But I'm hoping it's going to be ready to harvest tomorrow. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But um, if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of this series so far. And if you want to see it continue, if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been pretty thanks for watching. 
See you again soon.